Okay, now we're solving by subtraction, but technically what I like to do is I actually like to use negative one. Um, adding a negative is the same thing as subtraction. So you can solve by subtraction or you can just use a negative one. So here's our situation. Um, in this mathematical situation, you have adult tickets and student tickets. They've sold 101, it's 250 for adults. And then it is um, $1 for students and they sold 164. So you can actually subtract the equations. So, that, so the same thing you do addition is you can subtract. Why would you subtract in this case? You don't have opposites, you have like terms. So when you have like terms, and you want one of them to cancel, you can straight up use subtraction, or you can use a negative one, which I'll show you that as well. Um, so actually what I would do in this case is I would go like this. Um, I would take this one times a negative one and then combine it. You'd get the same thing. So actually I'm gonna do the work over here. I'd have a negative A, then a negative S equals a negative 101. Then once I have opposites, I'm gonna copy and paste that bottom one. Okay, once I have opposites, and I can do what I just got done doing with the previous problem, okay? So if you don't have opposites, you can use subtraction or you can make opposites, which I think is a better skill because we're gonna be doing a lot of making opposites very shortly. So we'll look and see what's left over. Uh, 2.5a minus a 1a is a 1.5a, and then 164 minus 101 is 63. Look at the same thing. They just have negatives, we have positives, you're still gonna get 42 adult tickets, and then a little bit of mental math. Once you have 42 adult tickets and you sold 101, you would get 59 student tickets. So same math, just from a different point of view, all right? So here's the got it question, I like this one. It's perfect time of year, uh, starting to get a little nicer outside, the snow's going away, everybody's cars are dirty, so here we go, car wash time. So two cars and three trucks is gonna take you 130 minutes to wash. Two cars and five trucks is going to take you 190 okay so we have like terms we do not have opposites if you do not have opposites then make opposites with a negative one so watch this this may look like a lot of work but this is actually going to set you up for success with future problems okay i'm going to take it times negative one i'm going to rewrite it right below oh look at that opposites gone 5t minus 3t is going to be two trucks oops i'm making an f there my cursive T's look like F's. I get confused. I don't do cursive very often. Divided by two, divided by two. There we go. Looks like two trucks is 60 minutes, so one truck is gonna take you 30. Okay, a little bit of mental math here. Well, not really mental math, just eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You can pick any of these equations now. Now that you know the time it's gonna take you to wash trucks, you can use any of these to find the amount of time it's gonna take you to wash cars. I'm gonna pick the top one. Substituted already, okay? I know the trucks are gonna be 30 minutes, so I'm gonna put 30 right in there. That's 90. So I got two cars, and I already spent 90 minutes. It's gonna take me 130 total. Let's take away those 90 minutes I'm spending on the uh, trucks. I got 40 minutes left over. 40 minutes, two cars. You probably got the answer before I did. There you go, 20 minutes on cars, 30 minutes on trucks. Again, if you don't have opposites, then use negative one to make opposites, or you can just do subtraction. Subtraction in my mind is a little bit tricky, um, and the negative one actually is gonna help you with future elimination situations, all right? So again, either you have opposites or you don't. If you don't have opposites, then make opposites however you can. Okay, goodbye.